New at 10, two families are spending their Thanksgiving in the hospital tonight after undergoing transplant surgery. I met the donor and the recipient earlier today, and though the two didn't know each other, they taught me the importance of sharing your spare. He was a greenish color when I first saw him. The two don't know each other very well. My husband knew him from a fish heading ball years ago. Toby and I have been friends for years. I knew his wife, we went to church with him. I'd see her at church, but I never spoke to her. Though he never spoke to her, Bill Knox now knows one thing for sure. She's a angel. She's either gonna be older or younger. Mary Lee tells us her husband ran into Bill at a basketball game. Bill looked so bad, she could hardly recognize him. I said, who is that? And he said, that's Bill Knox. Well, I recognize the name. I said, he looks terrible. Bill was a diabetic in need of a kidney transplant. That's when Mary made a decision that would change Bill's life. Filled out a form sitting in the stands that day. After several tests, Vanderbilt University Medical Center doctors determined Mary's kidney was a match. I just really felt like it was what the Lord wanted me to do. After six years, 10 months, and 18 days of dialysis, it's just the news Bill had been praying for. It's a miracle. It's God saying. I believe God had a lot to do with it. No more sleepless nights waiting to complete his dialysis procedure. Knowing I can go somewhere for a change. My wife and I hadn't been anywhere since I've been on dialysis because we couldn't get too far away because it's too much trouble to go anywhere. But tonight, they both have plenty to be thankful for. I'm thankful that I was healthy enough to be able to help Bill. Oh, I'm thankful that Mary had the heart to do this. If you would like to find out how you can donate one of your kidneys, head over to newschannel5.com.